Vous regardez Inbox avec Chivas. Hello tout le monde, content de vous accueillir de nouveau dans la box. C'est reparti pour un autre épisode, une autre édition d'Inbox avec Chivas. Installez-vous bien à la maison parce qu'on est parti pour d'autres moments sensationnels. Aujourd'hui encore un invité particulier, il est le monstre du micro. Je dis ça comme un indice et je vous laisse réfléchir. On donne les résultats tout de suite après le sommaire. Installez-vous. Yo, au sommaire de votre inbox, c'est ta prem. Nous recevons Mike Monsta et Kéin Djorko, l'une des valeurs sûres du rap camerounais en ce moment. Et depuis peu, brand ambassadeur de Chivas, notre partenaire. On fera un tour panoramique sur sa carrière, à travers ses titres, ses albums, ses difficultés, ses défis dans le game. Croyez-moi, ce mec a les pieds dans le ciment. Il sait où il va, le gars. Mimi est de retour musicalement, cette fois en idée. Elle tease depuis peu son prochain titre, Wall Wall, sur les réseaux sociaux. On en parle dans le A1. Et puis on sortira avec le freestyle du meilleur rappeur camerounais qui dise Matt Bilé, a.k.a. l'Albinisi. <rire> voilà, c'est tout pour le sommaire. Installez-vous, on se met bien avec Vaoulance, de la rappeuse Askia, yeah. en hommage à toutes les femmes et les filles violentées et violées. Attention, le clip est très, très émouvant. Yo, bienvenue dans la box. Aujourd'hui, nous recevons Moala alias Mosima et qui est Mike Monsta et qui est Joku. Un rappeur camerounais qui fait du chemin depuis quelques années déjà. Nombreux l'ont découvert avec le titre FIA. Ce natif de combat fait preuve d'une polyvalence et d'une versatilité lyricale qui ne saurait passer inaperçu. On en oublie presque qu'il a démarré sa carrière il y a plusieurs années déjà, lui qui est doté d'une agilité et d'une originalité très remarquable. Le rappeur va évoluer au sein du label Best Music e Integrate Entertainment, la structure américaine dans laquelle il va produire le titre à succès FIA, avant de créer sa propre boîte de prod Quata Music en 2018. Il a su se démarquer très tôt en adoptant un style particulier. Son flow, sa manque d'écriture sont respectés au point où l'hérité des surnoms Mayor of Punchlines District ou encore Microphone Jorku. Faisant désormais partie du siècle des grands, le MC va d'ailleurs collaborer avec des figures connues telles que Salatia. Mr. Liu et Oubé ou encore Stanley Eno. Depuis le 20 mai 2022, le rappeur a bombardé un album de 16 titres baptisé The Star of Watching. Un mélange de sentiments, d'expériences et des thématiques fortes que Mike Monsta offre au public. C'est en quelque sorte l'expression de la maturité d'un jeune qui a fait du rap sa passion depuis des années. Ce projet débarque clairement à un moment où la scène musicale camerounaise semble être moins moins prolifique en termes de sortie d'album. C'est donc un bijou musical digne d'intérêt que Stiak vous invite à découvrir si vous êtes à la traîne. Aussi, depuis quelques temps, il est brand ambassadeur de Chivas, la célèbre marque de whisky écossais la plus vendue au monde et partenaire de notre programme. Un whisky qu'on vous invite à déguster, mais avec modération. Mike Monsta est dans la box, installez-vous Yo Mike, aka Njoku, how are you? I'm good, feeling relaxed. Welcome in Box Bo. It's uh, a real pleasure for me to be with you today. I have some, uh, I have shivers for you, you can enjoy yourself. Thank you. Be like at home and enjoy. People discover you with the, the title Fear with a very rude combat language and a very particular way of moving you on the song and a strong desire to assert yourself to the public who did not know you until that time. Maybe in Norway's and Sarah's region, what was your state of mind when you were writing this song? Uh, if I can recall, that was 2016. And my state of mind was just, that was the first time I got a record deal. Mm -hmm. Like me being in school, a young, a young Cameroonian just going to school, 
chasing your dreams and recording songs on the side, then I got the record deal. Just so like that. <laughs> I've been releasing some covers before then. Covers, I was doing covers for any popular rapper that I loved the song. Oh. So I had covers for Ice Spring song, I had cover for a Jovi song, I had cover for an MI song and Lee Wayne. So 2016, that was when I got my records in and it was like, you need to drop an official single. Yes. So <laughs> that period, I wanted a commercial song that has a catchy hook that will remain in everybody's mind. So the trendy word at the moment was fear, fear. You say something, people be like, fear. And I'm like, I can use this and put it into a song. It sounds commercial. So just the intention to have something catchy uh. in people's mind made me use the word fear to create the song. And just like that, it became my, my breakout record. Yes, that's great. Step by step, you will impose yourself in the world of show business and Cameroonian rap. You will even come to live in Douala to really practice your music. Yeah. Was it, was it easy for you? It was not easy. Moving to Douala was a little bit difficult. Because uh -huh. after 2016, I released my first single, dropped my first EP. And in 2017, I was about to go on tour. Then the crisis started uh -huh. in the Northwest and Southwest region. So there was no internet for a couple of months. There was ghost town. Uh -huh. Businesses were closing down. So it took me time to realize that entertainment cannot survive in yeah. that space. So I had to move to Douala. Then my first night in Douala, I realized that Douala, the town does not go to sleep. I... <laughs> like morning, people are passing, afternoon, people are passing, evening. And I was like, like if the economy is stable here, it means I can, I can at least try to build an entertainment audience here. And that's when I released my first single while in Douala, Johnny. So it was being in an environment for the first time. I just referred to myself as Johnny Just Come. Uh, Let me start uh, afresh <laughs> and I released Johnny and the idea was to sample something that the, the Dwala people can relate to. So I had to get on the chorus, her mm -hmm. name is Katie D. Yeah. She sampled this Dwala language on the hook and when the song came out, everybody loved it. And that was me just having my stability in Dwala. Yes. At this moment, what are your difficulties and who are, the, who are those who will trust you and, and help you to make your music? I think the, the biggest difficulty will be staying original and true to the, my background. Because uh -huh. I've had a lot of people tell me that you need to put more French in your songs to dominate the audience that's here. And some part of me wants to stay original to be different. So that battle between finding a balance to have records that are playing in Douala and records that are playing in the Southwest, mm. that has been the difficulty on my part. And thanks to people like DJ Carr, he has really been there to give me studio sessions whenever I need it. Great. Shout out to my young producer, King Guns. We sampled a record together that really blew up, local Okito. And just those two producers by my side, Mm -hmm. They've been able to just provide a stable environment where I can record at any time that I want. Today you have your, your own music level, Quarter Music Inc. Yeah. And you have two EP, Quarter Diary Volume A in 2017 and Vibes Clinic in 2018. Yeah. Several awards. Shiva, Shiva's brand ambassador, with what you have accomplished so far, what feeling drives you? I think actually I have three albums, the Squatter Diary, Vibes Clinic, and, and yes. the Stars Are Watching. Mm -hmm. yeah, so it's been three albums, several awards, Shiva's brand ambassador is there. I mean, Are you I satisfied <laughs> with the No, I'm not satisfied, far from being satisfied. <laughs> <You need> <laughs> I'm still, I'm still adjusting to the fact that, okay, this can happen the way I want it, so mm. it's time to go even harder. So I'm far from being satisfied. Mm. I'm like three albums away from my goal. Because okay. the plan like was to establish six albums before I can at least take a break. So three albums down, three left. Yeah, yeah, three left. 
but take a bow. <laughs> so we, we're gonna make um, we are going to make a break. It's also an opportunity to you uh, to bring to drink your shivers, but you will play the role of the TV host just now and announce the next step on the show called the A. Uh, uh. Over to you, please. Called the what? The next show is, is called the A. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh. Yes. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this next segment of the show is called the RN. Stay tuned. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, tout de suite, le A1 de la semaine piqué sur le même Facebook de Urban Bridge. D'ailleurs, on vous invite à vous abonner fort à cette page pour le A1 du bled spécial, le récap de la semaine. Lady Mimi fait son comeback cette fois-ci en tant qu'artiste indépendante avec son single Wallowas. Une chanson avec un message d'actualité car plusieurs femmes qui réussissent dans leur vie sont accusées d'être des prostituées sans savoir qu'elles se battent de manière noble pour avoir de quoi nourrir et soutenir leur famille. Bref, mettez vos écouteurs, écoutez ce single, le clip arrive. Violence, c'est-à-dire violence en anglais, c'est le titre du dernier son de la rappeuse Askia. Le clip que vous avez dégusté à l'intro de ce programme, la rappeuse raconte une histoire tirée des faits réels qui met au devant de la scène une femme qui a subi de multiples viols et de violences par des personnes sans foi ni loi. Un fléau qui mine notre société et que l'on doit combattre et condamner avec la dernière énergie. Ce son est une révélation, un récit très mauvais mouvement que je vous invite à davantage regarder. La rappeuse Miné, a.k.a. Mami for House, a publié une vidéo acoustique de son titre Better Day, extrait de son EP Transition, une performance exceptionnelle démontrant ainsi que Miné se frotte facilement au live, aux cordes, aux guitares, aux touches sensuelles du piano et sûrement à d'autres instruments. Allez regarder la vidéo, vous allez kiffer. Il y a un an jour pour jour que l'artiste musicien de renom Fish est décédé dans un accident mortel avec son manager Feka Parchibel. Le départ tragique qui a laissé l'industrie en émoi. Par ailleurs, son équipe a reçu des plaques de récap annuelles par Boomplay pour 1 million de streaming et des chansons de 3 millions avec son épée Silk. Comme on le dit souvent, un artiste meurt jamais car ses œuvres demeurent. Le head of government restera toujours dans nos cœurs. Rest in power, bro. Voilà, c'est tout pour le A1 du blé de piqué sur le mur Facebook de Urban Bridge. La suite, c'est avec Stiak et son invité Inbox. Staying high on the Holy Ghost now, engine up in my plug. No TV time, I'm just channeling my energy. Industry strategy, I came in with a remedy. Head on me C'est reparti et c'est la deuxième partie de Inbox avec Shivas et notre invité du jour, Mike Monster, a.k.a. Njoku. Il est rappeur camerounais, CEO de Quata Music Inc., mais aussi depuis peu, brand ambassadeur de Shivas au Cameroun. How do you feel, bro? I'm good. I just took some shots of Shiva, so yeah. I feel alive. Okay. <laughs> okay, tell me what, what does mean Njoku? Is it an elephant? Njoku means elephant. Oh. In the Bakweri language. Bakweri. But why did you choose elephant as your symbol? I can say it's my spirit animal. Oh. And but mostly because it's very significant significant to the Bakweri culture. Oh. Like uh let me see my ancestors, my grandfathers, they used to consult the elephant whenever they need wisdom and study his ways of moving oh. to provide guardians for them. So oh. the stability of the elephant, the loyalty of the elephant. <laughs> And the fact that he used to lead them in battle. So if you have to go for a struggle, send the elephant ahead. He clears the path for the others that are coming behind. Great. So that's just the energy that I just embodied. So if you my movement, you see me ahead and there are young kids, young rappers coming behind me. So you don't fear elephant? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You are the last artist who have collaborated with Koti Francois. Yeah. Before he died, uh, Luca Lokito is the song who really pays homage to him. Tell us about your meeting and especially your collaboration with him. Okay, so when I moved to Douala, I realized that here in Douala, people were still listening to Makosa a lot. Like, yes. I'll be in a club and Makosa will be playing the whole night. So I'm like, I need to be here and have records that are playing in Douala without necessarily using French. Mm -hmm. So I, I had to sample a Makosa tune that has really made waves back in the days over mm -hmm. here. So you can give the, the people a nostalgic feeling. 
So I fell on Kuti Francois' song. Yeah. Sampled it, but then I could not release without having clearance rights and everything. So I started looking for his contact and through one of the guys on my team, Baba Samba. Uh -huh. We got to him, went to his office, played him the record and he was so impressed. It's like he has been waiting for this moment where the young generation can use what they've been doing and modify. So just having his blessing, having come over to my video shoot, uh -huh. stay there for like six hours, watch us set up, Whoa. go through everything, do the makeup and shoot with us. It was really a moment that I really cherish. Uh -huh. and rest in peace to him. I'm just glad that I got his blessings before he passed away. So that's a really special thing for me. Yes. Today you are a Shiva's brand ambassador in Cameroon. Congratulations. Thank you. How the collaboration is done with Shiva's? Like you said, I'm the brand ambassador for Shiva's. So my, my collaboration with the brand is just the fact that I represent something that adds value to them mm -hmm. and Shivas is just the, that brand that gives you that royalty feeling. Yes. So coming from the streets, it's like they have the eyes to cite that value that comes from the street. Oh. And being the brand ambassador for Shivas, it just came like an icing on the cake. Like oh. it just crowned a royalty on someone that they've not been seeing. So if people were underwriting before, after the brand ambassador deal, they'll be like, why Mike Monster? And with that attention, you get to discover the work that I've been putting in and to realize uh -huh. why uh -huh. I'm an ambassador for the brand. So working with Shivas is just, it's just a perfect blend of inspiration and success stories. Yes. <laughs> but what does Shivas bring in your uh, your social career, your social life? It adds value to my image and market my image in ways that I'd never thought before. Mm. So just that extra value that it brings to the to the Mike Monster image mm. is, is a step up to my personal brand and career. Of course, yes. Uh, would you recommend Shivas experience to a young person who, who want to be like you? Of course, it's the dream. <laughs> <laughs> like all, all my, my career making and writing songs, the Shivas being amb a born ambassador for Shivas was like my biggest deal in my career so yeah. far. So any young game will want that for themselves. Okay. Any project? Just more videos for my album, The Stars Are Watching. Mm -hmm. More videos and just shows and touring. Your actuality. What about the, uh, at, at the moment, what are you working about? Uh, I'm just busy doing shows because it's December. Mm -hmm. the, there are so many events going on and there are so many, there's a high demand for artists and performances. So I'm just busy with shows. A, a word about your collaboration with Mini? Wish. I think it's the last video that I dropped for my album. Mm -hmm. Yeah. and. I think it's one of the the songs that I've really seen my fans take personal. Yeah. Like everyone relate to the theme of the song so much and I'm glad about the response that we're really getting from the public. So I think it's an amazing project. Yeah. I'm looking forward to do more projects with her. Maybe you want to invite people to enjoy that song? <laughs> we'll see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yoku, it was a real pleasure. Thanks for your presence today. Thank you for having me. Saviez-vous que le meilleur rappeur camerounais est un albinos L'albinésie a sorti il y a quelques temps un freestyle toujours aussi épicé. On partage un bout <rire> avec vous. Oh. Ah, Bile. Nikana. Ata langwa abiona is not over, right Ya les so. Bon, il y a comme de meilleur projet de cette année, allez discuter avec vos ancêtres. Vous qui manquez d'inspirer, même menu un peu vous dépanner, mais vous prenez le risque de faire péter vos enceintes. Je parle de mes peurs, mes problèmes de cœur et mes complexes. De même assure ma chère et mon âme dans de bons textes. Et si demain je meurs, c'est que mon heure sera venue. Je m'aurai laissé ma trace et mon nom sera béni. Moi, j'ai volé la cale quand ça pousse. La force du wata et de la brousse. Rester cohérent, c'est le plus dur. Il y avait juste de notre futur. Il y avait même Mouna dans ma bouche. Wow.
<rire> Nous on ne fiait jamais quand ça tire voilà. Même si ça empire voilà. On ne va pas partir On a des choses à bâtir Afin de vivre de qualité Mais les mots que n'y avait validé Pas d'un beau rien qui ne nourrit rien De là et de zombies C'est ce qui prétendent pouvoir faire des stars Les mêmes qui gognaient leur petit goût niveau 1 à soi Pour expliquer des contrats rédigés par des avocats Mais de excellents Précis jamais d'excédents L'imbécile qui va s'égarer Il va perdre ses dents Des têtes coupées à chaque couplet Ils sont chez Isaac voilà, c'est tout pour aujourd'hui. Vous aurez l'intégralité de ce freestyle à la prochaine édition. Mais avant, vous pouvez toujours aller réécouter sur YouTube. Aujourd'hui encore, ça a été un bon moment avec vous dans la box. On va devoir se quitter, non sans vous rappeler que eh ben, l'abus d'alcool nuit gravement à la santé. Il faut y aller mollo, même si vous êtes dans les bruits. Passez un très bon moment et on se retrouve la prochaine fois. Mike, it was a real pleasure to be here with you. Thank you for having me. Thank you to you. Enjoy. Vous avez regardé Inbox avec Chivas.